that's it. Hey, Daddy, how you doing? Huh? Parents are very worried. I mean, we're getting a lot of phone calls asking about immunization status and also whether their children should get the MMR early. And we do have some friends um, who live further north that are very anti-vaccine. This was, you know, when I was pregnant with him. And, um, oh, my, he's never sick because we didn't do the vaccines. We recommend you not doing them. I'm convinced that most people make this decision not based on fact but on feeling. Oh, I don't think I feel like I want to get my child immunized because of what I've heard from friends or what I read on the Internet. There was a study in 1998 by a Dr. Wakefield which showed a possible association between the MMR and autism in a small number of children. Subsequently, that study has been shown to be inaccurate because a lot of the evidence was falsified and in fact Dr. Wakefield lost his medical license. Facts are that many studies have been done to look at the safety of vaccines and they're looking at large populations of children and it's been determined that there is no association between the two so that autism is not caused by the MMR. The CDC and the National Institute of Health have conducted a number of large studies both looking at the effects of thimerosal which is mercury and that's another concern that parents have that you know mercury containing vaccines might have a negative effect. We effectively have removed mercury or thimerosal from all the children's uh, vaccines and we've not seen any drop in autism or uh, any other uh, positive effects from that. So that clearly autism is not caused by the thimerosal. Some parents you know, voice the concern that there are so many vaccines and do we really need all of them. There's you know, evidence that there's a problem with that. Uh, the children's immune systems are well suited to be able to tolerate all that and uh, the current recommendation for the measles vaccine is that they get their first shot at a year of age and then they get a second shot uh, between four and six years of age. You're protecting your children and you're also being a good citizen and getting your child immunized. He's all set. We're of the mindset to listen to the doctor and, and do what he says. Feel confident. Do knuckles? <laughs> Knuckles? Cool. <laughs> I like it. <laughs>